Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm going to do a weekly close. Um, end of the month is coming. Day after Christmas, uh, markets will open uh, tomorrow. Uh, later today, I guess the futures will be open. Uh, they're not open yet. Nope. Uh, right now on the dollar, weekly close, we got a double top put in. Um, let's look at the daily, see if there's a reversal. There's a reversal, not perfect. With the little wick on top, but uh, we got a hanging man, hanging man, hanging man kind of action. And then a, a falling star kind of action right there. A uh, little top heavy. Anything could happen. Uh, watch for previous high breaks. But um, right now we're putting in a double top. Two wicks pointing up. Pretty drastic wicks too. Uh, not real drastic, but <clears throat> definitely wicks pointing up. Making that a double top tweezer. Not an exact tweezer, but um, pretty close. Uh, you can call it a whipsaw, uh, throwback. Um, I'm going to stay bearish on it just because I'm biased. Probably not good, but um, this thing can't go up forever. Plus, uh, gold and silver has been coming down for six months, so <clears throat> since August. What's that make it? Beginning of August is when the the churn came, the signal. So probably not six months, but getting close. Half the year was bullish, half the year was uh, consolidation. Um, looks like uh, S and P's in in a pattern. For the week, looks like a high flying pennant consolidation, pretty tight though. Uh, let's look at the daily, see if we can find anything. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see this thing fill the gap. Got a nasty um, reversal candle here. But it looks like Friday it closed above that, canceling out the bearishness of it now turning bullish but we got strong resistance at the gap we got the EMA 8 up here it's closing below the EMA 8 on the daily bouncing off the 13 but um, now that Friday came in it's closing above the previous high it needs to close that gap I would look at uh, the gap sitting right at resistance on that EMA 8. So I'd look for it to close the gap and see what happens after that if it backs off, gets rejected, or anything like that. Um, pretty nice bounce off of the 13. I'm thinking it's bearish, end of the year kind of stuff. Definitely a breakout on a weekly chart. And uh, broke out, pulled it back, slingshotted it, maybe uh, coming down into 50% of the previous candle or previous highs or outside the previous uh, pattern break. Right now I'm bearish. Um, see what happens. Bearish because it's into the air. Bearish because that candle on the daily. Uh, but that candle on the daily needs to be confirmed. So anything outside that daily pattern, Dow Jones had some uh, trouble here. Looks like Friday closed. Inside the previous candle, made a new high. Same thing with the dollar, made a new high. Let's see. Tried to break previous highs, broke back down in, calling this a whipsaw, came back down in, made a pattern, inside the pattern now. 
but that whipsaw is pretty strong. Closing below the EMA 8 on a daily support line. Uh, let's see about a rounding top on Dow Jones. Not sure. Had a little push on Friday. Daily's closing below the EMA 8, so uh, closing below previous highs. And a whipsaw. And I'm not sure how strong this up, upwards trend line is because it's only got two, three opposing points. Hmm. Gonna say bearish just because it's the end of the year, but uh, who knows? Who knows? So let's go down narrower. Let's go down a little bit further. There's a reversal bar on the four hour chart after that whipsaw. I would say bearish until uh, you break outside the pattern and take out that reversal bar. This is the way I am. Looks like it wants to come up and fill that gap first, though. Four hour chart, we got a cross. Eight crossing the 13, so bearish again on the shorter shorter term. Nasdaq still in the pattern on that high level channel. Back and forth, back and forth. Looks like we closed above the EMA eight on a daily. And the weekly close. Looks like we put in a double top. Daily's inside that pattern channel. So trade outside the pattern. Looks like I had a tiny whipsaw here. Back and forth, back and forth, and then a rounding top. Back and forth, back and forth, and then the round. Made a higher low. And didn't touch the other side of the pattern, so is this thing going to break out on the upside? Interesting. Look for previous high breaks. But again, end of the year kind of stuff. I'm going to be bearish. Closing on its highs on Friday. Double top on the weekly. But um, this thing just broke out, so let's give it a, give it a chance to uh, catch up with the uh, breakout on S&P and Dow Jones. See what happens. Shanghai. Looks like a little push when all the markets were closed. Got the AB bottom. You can see that AB bottom. Got the accumulation back into the EMA 8 and then made another low and bounced. Nice hammer here. Took out that hammer on the upside. Closing on its highs for the for Monday. There Monday. Mm. I believe this was running all day yesterday. So AB bottoms in. Let's see if it'll carry. It's got to carry across. EMA 8. Maybe hit resistance. Previous highs. Otherwise, if it keeps going, it's got to break previous 50% rule on that long green and red candle and get above there. But it looks like an AB bottoms in. And if you ever want to uh, research AB bottoms, I think I picked that up from the big giant book of patterns, Encyclopedia of Pattern, Chart Patterns. That's it. You can find that online. Uh, AB bottom. Uh, Nikai. Looks like it's a little trouble here. We got a 
we've got a hanging man and then a close on the uh, other side of the EMA 8 so gonna call it bearish on this closing below support uh, weekly close looks like a trading habit that uh, falling star closing to below previous lows it's got plenty of distance to get to uh, support so maybe another spike up making another wick going up but uh, I'm bearish on this and lots of weird stories about um, the yen and um, derivative swaps uh, recently. I, I guess Japan owns more treasury bonds than China now. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Ten year. Looks like a uh, weekly uh, bearish Harami has been put in. So uh, look look out below, look for previous high, take out that previous high, watch out below, take out previous lows, watch out below, take out previous highs and lows, all the way down to previous support lines. Uh, looks like a bearish Harami coming in. Crude there's a rounding top, spinning top, 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 lots of indecision, rounding over. Let's see what happens. Let's see. The daily thing we're going on here. Looks like a cross below the third, uh, the eight. Bouncing off the 13, coming back into the 8, rejected a few times. Here's a triple top. Uh, higher low. Uh, close below previous lows. Which is support. EMA 8 is our support at all costs. Weekly, we want to stay above that line. Um, looks like previous support lines in and around. Let's call it at the base 52. So pretty weak breakout uh, for this. We've got higher lows coming in, but we got a, a lot of indecision on the top there. Higher low, higher low, higher low. Uh, that's below previous highs. Let's see. Oh, I can't go to four hour or anything. Looks like this was our exhaustion move. Filled the gap, got rejected by the EMA 8, bounced, and a double top on the last few days, triple top on the last five days, and then a huge spinning top exhaustion. Look out below on crude. You got a hanging man uh, posted on Friday. Right into resistance. So look out below on that one. Pretty weak breakout. It's got to come back and gather its legs. Coal. Let's see if we can get coal running. Hmm. Not much movement from the last time I talked about this. So looks like a whipsaw. Weak breakout. Uh, it's hanging on by a thread on the two lines of support on a weekly chart. Daily. Looks like it closed below. Looks like it's moving right now. No. Did it? Looks like it was moving. Uh, we got a breakdown.
across the 34, back into the 34, rejected by the EMA-8 crossing the 34. Uh, you remember I always say that um, when it breaks down, watch the price come back to meet the cross of the EMA-8 over the 34. So that was a perfect tap-tap. And then it got rejected. Uh, it looks bearish as uh, prices were rejected. Uh, we got a three bar pattern cross below the previous high break. It broke out, broke back below, broke below previous highs. It's hanging on with the thread up in this area. It's got plenty of support down here. So maybe it needs to gather its legs, but. Um, Definitely whipsawed there, and then on the daily it looks bearish already as the bearish retracements in. Crossed, bearish retraced, and then we got a, a little ham or a hanging man right below uh, support of that 34. So, um. We do have an AB bottom. We do have uh, higher lows, uh, but we got a cross coming. Um, look out uh, below previous low breaks. Got previous low break here, here, here. Maybe it'll come down to the other side of the pattern. Uh, gold. Gold. Um, weekly close. Weekly close. Looks like an indecision. Spinning tops at bottoms are continuation patterns. So that doesn't make me happy at all. Uh, we've got higher lows. Looks like we closed above the EMA 8. Opening inside the 8, between the 8 and the 13. Maybe, 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 maybe. We can get some run out of this. Watch out for previous low breaks. higher lows put in. Looks like we're opening above the EMA 8. Let's stay above there. Let's get above the 13. Consolidate. Make our way back up. So far we haven't had any sort of a bounce. It's a long drawn out painful experience. <laughs> uh, you gotta look on the bright side though. It, it gives us gives us more time to buy physical um, so these are all speculative where owning physical gold is more of a guaranteed insurance and um, what's his name pointed out oh, I can't think of his name the open interest on gold and silver has uh, shot up since the election, like, a lot. Uh, which, what that means is they've been printing contracts to keep this thing down. So we'll go back to the original theory that gold was good for Trump. And um, they're just printing contracts to hide it. So open interest has shot up quite a bit on gold and silver. Those are printed contracts on the COMEX. Um, now silver, we put in that hammer. Very excited about that hammer. The hammer's still in play. Oh, we got an inverted hammer and then a hammer. Not a perfect hammer, but you know what I mean. That uh, trading action. And then they slowly stair step into Friday, making a higher low on the daily um, for the week close. Came all the way down. And bounced. Just a tiny bounce. 
You gotta get these things moving. So depressing. You can see the high, the lower high, the channel breakdown, the move into resistance, the breakdown, move into resistance, the breakdown. Let's get this thing moving. We got the 13 cross in the EMA, the SMA 34 now. Um, so we got a lot of resistance on the way up. Lots of work to do. I love silver, so. I went to the pawn shop right before Christmas thinking, oh yeah, someone's going to be selling their silver for Christmas gifts. Not a drop of junk silver at the pawn shop. So everyone's buying, uh, but the price keeps coming down. Arbitrage is in. We can sell this stuff and go to China and make a mint. So that can't go on forever. Um... Wish we had free markets. Copper. Copper's having some real trouble. We got a little hammer, but we got the cross. No sign of it um, coming into resistance yet. And that hammer, same as silver, has not been confirmed. But um, closing on its lows does not feel good. Uh, let's look at a, a weekly real quick. Bouncing off the EMA8, that's nice. Got a lot of wicks pointing up. Let's see if that'll hold. Get a higher low coming in off the top pattern. Let's see if we can find a reversal on the shorter term. Got a higher low. Let's see where the hammer was put in. Um, higher low. Could go either way. Closing below support. Got resistance all the way up. I'm going to have to stay bullish on this. Same as silver. Crossing. GDX. See if we can close that gap. Let's get up in the 50% range. Breaking into previous lows. 50% range. Get our momentum back. GDX, nice, nice churn, let's close that gap, watch out for resistance, let's go weekly chart, oh, bam, that's a sweetheart deal right there. Okay, let's keep to the weekly close. Weekly close on GDX. See the stair step coming in. You can see the hammer close. Double bottom. Closing inside. The body of the candle is closing inside. Bullish Harami, double bottom. Hammer looking thing. Pretty tight. Hammer set for the wick. Ten cent wick. Got the AV bottom. Let's see if we can open up on this one. <clears throat> nice hammer. Not perfect on that one, but uh, that one, GDXJ, sure does look like a perfect hammer. Let's close that gap and run. 50% roll. Let's close about 50%, get our momentum back. Uh, we got a lot of resistance on the way up. J nug. Same. Nice. It's a perfect camera. Look on the anything opening up on the wet upside. The easy, easy, easy. Nice reversal bars. 
double bottom, reversal bar, bullish harami. Here's our free market right here. Bitcoin. Nice break. Just a perfect. Man. That was a good breakout too. Nothing holding that thing back. Um, let's see. Do we have previous highs? Or is these all time highs? Oh, there we go. Here's a monthly chart. Previous high break. Boom. Let's get above previous highs. Keep moving above previous highs. Take out that double top. What is going to happen on that double top break? Uh, 1200 to 150 seriously that's going to be a huge breakout on the double top break you got to be silly not to buy that wow measured move from the top to the bottom of the pattern measured move from the top that is um <laughs> 150 to 11.50. So strapped to 150, you got a thousand point breakout from the double top break if it gets up here. It's <laughs> oh, the thing's a monster, huh? Not tied to the dollar. Let's take a look at a G monthly chart being pulled back all the way to the 34, <clears throat> looking for a bounce. Let's see if we got some kind of a weekly burn. Nothing yet on a weekly. Looks like there's accumulation and then some sideways action. Needs to do a lot better. It's got a lot of resistance on the way up. Cliff. Still hanging 10 right there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, NAC. <clears throat> NAK took a run on Friday, which is nice to see. Let's see how it closed for a week. Pretty good. Looks like it wants to keep going. Look out for resistance uh, the, <clears throat> the previous high. Uh, we got previous lows at 225 or so. So look for resistance as it goes into previous lows. <clears throat> <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, right now, it's made a lower high, but it's closing near its highs. So, monthly, <clears throat> you can see that J curve. Boom. The, the inverted hammer right over the 34 on the monthly chart. That was badass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see if we can find anything going on. I need to update my list over here, but um, everything I'm trading is over on my Medved Trader. Um, let's see if we can find a churn in some of these. Nothing yet. Damn. DB. Let's do Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank looks like it wants to go. It's got a previous high. It's got previous lows all the way to 28.30. 20, let's just call it 20. Let's call it 26. <clears throat> um. Let's 
let's see here for a couple more here. Let's see if I can find anything. Oh, EXK. I think there was something. Nope. I'm wrong. It's a daily reversal there. Two bar pattern. Let's see what happens with that. Um, GPL. Oop. GPL, that's my paper trade. No worries. I bought into support. Where's my resistance? I missed it. That was my resistance. And it broke out. So, um, let's see a longer term resistance. Let's see if we can find something. Put my cell order in. I got a previous high over here. 164. I don't know. I think I'm going to hold on. Yeah, I'm going to hold on. 2 o'clock high, just under 2. I'm going to do 194, previous high. Let's sell this. Paper trading. It's amazing how well you do when you're paper trading. <laughs> There's no emotions with paper. Just remember that. Hmm. Let's see. URRE. I'm really excited about this. If UEC, I'm in UAC. If that's, see, that's a two bar reversal on the weekly. I watched very closely on this on the breakout. It broke out, came back into support. Watch previous high breaks. I mean. That weekly pattern, man. That's the pinch. That's the pinch you should be looking for. I mean, look at that long downtrend. Came across, came across. One, two, three. Watch the after the next try across 34. I mean, previous high breaks. Um, could get you easy 50 cents right off the bat. Previous. Previous low. Previous low. Previous low. And then I bet it'll get up in here. Previous high. Previous low. I bet you it'll get up in here. That's my mark. I'm going to buy this. It's going to let me buy it right now. Buy. And use the market. Yeah. Even. <laughs> so that's definitely cheating right there. So market's not open. See what happens with that. Um. GLDLF. Brazil mining. Looks like it's having a hard time. Yeah, it's got to gather its legs for a while. Um, UEC, I'm in this in and around 96. I bought into support, came back down into support plenty of times for anyone else looking. Um, inverted hammer right over the 34. Rebar pattern, inverted hammer, um, closing on a daily above EMA 8, weekly chart, you can see the, the motion, the down, the bottom here, the accumulation, the pop. Cross over the 34, back into the 8, crossing, 8 crossing the 34, making a top, coming all the way back down. This little butterfly doji, I believe, and then the pop, and then I bought on that, um, after this pop, I bought into support and that ran to 120 came all the way back 
So it's a uh, building. Um, let's see if we can pass this. We have a downward pattern that was crossed. So now we get an opposing point. Let's get across there this week. I think it's building pretty good. Uh, volume has come in on these past three weeks. Now you can see the EMA 8 cross above the 34 come back under it and now it's got that bend. Price is in a pinch between uh, previous highs and support lines. So I'm still optimistic about this after Trump was misquoted on his nuclear um, because China was talking all its crap about um, what was it um, increasing production on their nuclear power and nuclear weapons and Trump was misquoted saying that he's going to keep nuclear but for what reason the media misquoted him saying until the world comes to their senses and I guess M MSNBC left that part out but here we have a bottom pattern where it didn't reach its natural course of return and I'm calling this double bullish I mean I don't see any reason why this can't come across a 34 bullish retrace it's the pattern I always talk about the 98 percent 95 98 percent probability of a bullish move anything could happen it's come down into support plenty of times it's gathering its legs I think um, we're waiting for the end of the year Christmas I don't know what's going on but I feel a push coming EGI we want to keep close eye on this as it's building inside that pattern remember uh, marijuana nice little push on uh, CNAB you see that that churn I imagine then it's not going to go too high on the first churn making a lower high I would say top of my range would be at two you got a uh, previous highs you got a previous high I would say below two is where it's going to stop on uh, this push if it doesn't get stopped out from this double top here first but uh, that's a, a pretty good push I think I'm going to get up in the two range below two would be my resistance on that um, but first it has to get above previous highs AMG same thing it's got that churn it might pop but make a lower high so watch that it's probably not going to come down make this U and make a full U and flat top break <clears throat> that's just too much fun CANN same thing oh look at that two bar pattern that's a lot healthier than the uh, last that's a lot healthier than that one I think because it made a full retracement back into support previous highs see that we got a two bar pattern uh, bullish reversal right there nice bounce it's got to get above previous highs I guess it did close above previous highs. It's breaking in the previous lows. Watch for rejection. Uh, but that two bar pattern looks uh, pretty healthy. Pretty healthy indeed on a long term chart. Let's see. C A N N. And all monthly, uh, monthly uh, price pinch. Daily, nice recovery. It's coming into resistance, that previous low mark. You can see the previous highs, previous lows, right where the 34 SMA is. 
going to break that 34 SMA on the daily and consolidate just a tiny, tiny bit and watch for the throwback into support. Buying into support. Looks like a nice one right there. And this one. I'm watching this one very closely. As the cross above the 34 on a daily came back into support where the EMA8 crossed the 34 and it broke previous high still in the pattern so watch out for the break on the upside um, weekly chart looks like it's coming into resistance putting in a hammer right over the MA834 so nice bullish push Encompassing uh, many weeks, closing, ran up into previous lows, closing on its highs, making a nice hammer on a weekly chart. Could be explosive. Price is in a huge pinch between the 8, 34, and the 13, holding it back. That's it. Could be pretty nice on EXLLF. I think it's silver and gold. I can't be. I think it's silver. I can't be for sure, but definitely a mining stock. We'll see. It's at resistance. Nice hammer reversal. Watch uh, previous high breaks, previous low breaks. Could turn into anything. It ran into resistance and stopped. But it looks good. I like that one. And I'm definitely uh, liking the uranium. Uh, oh, there was one more uranium. Let's see. Um, hang on. Well, I was going to mention this one, uh, CCJ uranium, after the nuclear move. But uh, with the news on it, something about tax avoidance. So be careful on it. It's been moving already. It's crossed the 34. Uh, we got a little bearish pattern going on here. Coming back into support. It's already come back into support once. And it looks like it's going to try it again. Uh, but it did the same thing up here. And was bearish. Did the same thing over here. And was bearish. So it needs a consolidation over the 34 instead of just whipping across it. And coming back down. Look for previous lows at 1216. Uh, so be careful of that one. Uh, something it had some bad news about tax avoidance. You can look that up. Make sure, make. I'm, I'm not a fundamentalist. I just read the charts. Uh, I like UEC definitely and URRE. There might be a whole bunch more. I just don't have them. But um, this is going to be powerful. Uh, it's got that long J curve, long J curve. Let's look at a longer term. Monthly, the eight's going to cross the thirteen, so it might be a nice push on this, breaking into previous patterns, into the eight level. I mean, what do you got to do on this? It could be explosive. Broke across, 34 came back into support, and I cheated on my buy, it's just a market order when it wasn't open, but um, long term it looks great. GPL, EXLLF, some of the uh, marijuanas, all good. Let's get a bounce on gold and silver. Let's make some money. Hope everyone had a great Christmas. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. See ya.